my god, the ship's taking on water. This is the end of the Esmeralda! I'd say we have 20 or 30 minutes left before we're completely submerged. All the lifeboats and life vests are gone! They're taken out of the explosion! Damn it! All we can do now is pray to God that the ship's maintenance man can repair the damage. Well, Clark's in there right now. Clark! 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 Clark, 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 Clark. Well, it's definitely the fuel pump. What does that mean? Can you fix it, Clark? Yeah, let me just go get my fuel pump factory. No, it's shot. Oh, God, no. Oh. I'm surprised you guys made it this far. I don't know why you guys decided to go out into open water with that fuel pump. I've seen boats 12 years older than this one with much better internal workings. So what do we do? Well, you're supposed to change your fuel pump every four years. That's why these things happen. OK, Clark, can you fix it? I'm working on it. My God, I hope you can fix that pump. Oh, the water's coming through the door! Radio for help! No, the radio's completely fried. We're all gonna die. And we're way off of our charted course. No one's gonna think to look for us here. Clark! 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 Clark, Clark, Clark. Clark. I don't know what you guys were planning on doing if I wasn't here. Did you fix it, Clark? No. Then what are you doing? I'm taking a break. Clark, this is important. Do you want to go try to fix it? I mean, I'm sure you know your way around a Class 5 yacht's boiler room. I'm sure you picked that up in passenger school. Clark, we might die. Yeah, you might, because you don't practice good boiler maintenance. I'm going to go back to work. Oh, my God, the waters are torn knees now! I never said goodbye to my family. So much more I wanted to accomplish. Dear God, please steady Clark's hand and give him a keen eye so that he might hey. be able to... Come here. I want to show you something. What? Come here. What? You know what this is? This is your insulator ring. What? See how worn through that is right there? It looks bad. Yeah, it looks bad. That's 12 years of damage. This is what a normal insulator ring looks like. You see that? See the difference? Well, Clark, why don't you replace the bad insulator ring with the good insulator ring? That's a great idea, passenger. Because I'm sure that when we take the new insulator ring and put it where the other one was, it's going to magically undo all the damage from the explosion when the first one wore through. OK, Clark, we don't know anything about insulator rings or fuel pumps. That's your job. Yeah, that's my job. But you do realize that we are literally in the same boat here. <laughs> I don't quite think we're in the same boat. What? You're going to die, too, if this thing sinks. Oh, so now you're doing me a favor? That's not what I was saying. I'm going to go back to work. Okay. We need to turn off the electricity to the main cabin before we all get electrocuted. No, the switch is in the forward compartment. It's completely flooded with water. Do we have any flares? We can fire one out the porthole. All the flares are soaked through. Besides, there's no one around for miles to see us anyways. Oh, God. Please hurry, Clark. It's almost too late. Clark, please tell me that means that you fixed it. The problem's not just the fuel pump. All the pipes in the filtration system have corroded. Oh, God. But that's my specialty. So you fixed it? Not exactly. Clark, is the boat going to stop sinking? Eventually. Clark, are we all going to die? Everyone's going to die. No fuel pump technician in the world's going to help you out with that one. That's between you and the big JC. Clark, can you save the ship or not? Well, that is what you hired me to do. So, so you, you did. did! But you can hire all the repairmen in the world, and it's not going to keep your ship from sinking unless you practice proper maintenance of its inner workings. So you didn't. I did not say that. So you did. And I most certainly did not say that. Son of a bitch, Clark! Truth of the matter is, there's no point. It's going to cost you more in parts and labor to fix the thing than to just replace the whole system. And I don't do installation. So we're going to drown! I normally don't do installation. So you will! And tonight is no exception. I'm going to be honest with you guys, you're probably going to be drowning in a couple of minutes. There's a lot of ways to kick the bucket, and drowning's probably the worst. A lot of pain, a lot of waiting. Oh, sweet God! There's a paring knife right over there. If I were you guys, I'd take the easy way out. He's right, though. Studies have shown that drowning is like the most horrible way to die. What's the best? I heard stomach cancer. I think that's true. I don't want to drown, but I can't kill myself. Darling, I need you to do it. No, I could never. I'll do it. Where's the knife? Just hold on a second. All right, I'll do it. Okay. You look at me. I love you. I love you. Okay. Wait for me. Wait for me at the gates. I'll be right behind you. OK. Stab hard enough to get through my sternum. Don't take your eyes off of me. OK. OK. Uh, harder, harder. Uh, uh. 
Oh God. Well, I fixed it. Turns out it was just unplugged. What? Well, not unplugged. It was plugged into a power strip, but the power strip was turned off. So at first glance, it looked like it was plugged in. Jeez, what happened to her? Hope that was stomach cancer. Well, a lot about wraps it up, folks. Good night. Fuck you! Wraps what up? Nothing. Don't worry about it.